Got a small piece of mimosa. This is a trimming from the end grain one that I did recently. And it was a full log, but it had a split right where I cut it. So I decided I would cut it. It's not very big, but I want to make a turning out of it because when you see this grain here turned as a flat grain bowl, it is really cool looking. So I want to do that because it's going to be quick and easy. I'm right in the middle of gluing something up that I think is pretty cool. I'll have two more days of gluing and letting the glue sit. So while I'm doing that, I want to turn this. I'm going to go ahead and get a hole here for a worm screw. It will get it mounted up and turn it a little mimosa bowl. As I recall that end grain piece, the grain was really hard. So I'm going to use tailstock support until we get it nice and round. And I just sharpened my 5 8 bowl gouge. And bring that live center up there. And we'll see what kind of RPM we can get. About 750. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool looking. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the uh, other piece that I turned in, grain piece, and of course this, came from my friend John who sent this to me a few months ago. So I know this is going to be a pretty small bowl, so I'm going to see if I can show everything at normal speed without fast forwarding anything. So let's see how that works out. Gonna be little. I'm just gonna clean this up one pass here, and then I think I will put a recess in the bottom. So I don't have to shorten it any more than what it is. Okay, there it is. I 
I went ahead and marked it for a recess. I'm going to go ahead and cut that in there, then I, I think we'll sand it up and then get it flipped around. Alright, I'll get that all sanded up and uh, see you when I have it flipped around. I have it all sanded up, flipped around. It's getting hot again. Oh boy, it was only supposed to get to 99. And now they say it's going to be 104. I'm going to take one pass across here. And I'll have to start early again tomorrow. Get a row of segments glued up. Come back and finish this. But, I want to see what it looks like. And then I'm bailing. That's running real nice. 800 RPM, half inch bowl gouge. Alright, that's one pass. I see some chatoyants in there. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back on it and I just need to get it hollowed out. And it shouldn't take too much. It's pretty small. It's only 80 degrees right now and it's supposed to hit 93 by 5 o'clock, but we should have this done by then. 800 RPM, half inch bowl gouge.
better see how much stock we have down there. Got about a quarter here. I think I'll just try to keep it right around a quarter of an inch. Okay, the walls are pretty good. I'm going to get set up and we'll sand this up. Okay, I'm all set up to sand and I'm going to start with a 2 inch disc, 80 grit, sand up through 400 and I'm going to have the lathe running forward at about 380. I'm going to start up my dust collector and we'll get it sanded. I've decided to use shellac for the finish on this, so I'll start with a coat of shellac based sanding sealer. And now we get to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's, those rings are real prominent, they just stand right out. Oh, that's easy enough. I'll probably get at least one more coat of this on it. Soaks it up pretty good. Then I'll get some shellac on it. And I don't think I'll show the inside because it's so small. All you'd see is my gloves. So I'll just get this done here and the shellac will look just like that. And I'll be back and I'll show you what we ended up with. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Well, here it is. A very pretty piece of mimosa turned into a fairly small bowl, but it was quick and easy. But it's very pretty as well. Look at the grain. It's just got all kinds of contrast going on. I love those dark rings there. Inside, same thing. It's just, just a very neat wood. I like it a lot. But, like I said, it's pretty small. Five and a half inches in diameter, it's two and three quarter inches tall, and the base is three inches. And I fill the recess with a piece of cherry just to dress it up, and I think that looks pretty nice. I use two coats of Zinser Seal Coat and two coats of Zinser Slack, and then I went ahead and buffed it out with X Abrasive Paste and Polish, and it's just nice and smooth. Really happy with how it turned out. To my surprise, while I was editing, I realized that, and I didn't run anything at fast speed, I ran it all at normal, that the turning section, the amount of time I spent was actually less than 10 minutes turning this. So you certainly can make something quick and easy for a gift or a craft show, even if you were not even planning, just like I did here. So I'm very happy with it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, do me a favor, click that like button and feel free to leave a comment. Both of those things will really help my channel grow. I do lots of different types of turnings and you never know what might be next, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And a special thanks to all my current subscribers, you really mean a lot to me. So till the next time, see you later.